the book of the songs of i'm just gonna whoa this is like the time when i'm trying to answer my question you're getting irate and angry calm just, down you're not irate at all you're just yes, wriggling you are. this is you're you getting irate and this is you not understanding the basic the points of christian you're, theology you're and the i'm going to continue my statement whether you like it or not now can. here's the thing as you're you can lying. see by my eyes guys my expression i haven't shown any emotion in this conversation that's why i hide my face so that emotionality isn't the you point of conversation you're your face with a scarf yeah. my friend yeah you're, you're hiding you're hiding your motives you're hiding your heart no you're hiding i'm hiding lies. my face hiding because face. people like you like to focus on my emotions rather than the words that come out of my mouth no i haven't focused on any of your emotions that's what you've you tried just to did. do for me. you literally said about my motives that i want power your that's motives. you focusing on my emotional motives your motives so your then motives you lied so, so you lied so now that i'm going to be speaking again on this issue when it comes to i'm just gonna bro i'm just gonna you know what i'm saying i'm just gonna finish when it comes to the bible different parts of the bible signify different things we are not literalists when it comes to reading we actually have something known as the quadriga the quadriga is the way that we interpret and understand the books of the bible as you're they are passed down person my friend because you want to convince you're a people. dangerous person knowledgeable with when in fact you're leaving them up the garden by creating your own denomination by lying about jesus christ by offending every single desire, black christian by saying that jesus christ was racist you because my friend are dangerous dangerous yeah. to is us this god is a wicked god an immoral god and you god and you have been racist to every single black christian when you say that jesus, jesus christ was racist permission to slaughter children and babies that no he did not say that you are just running with your argument because you are scared now here's my issue again thank you so much for this when it comes to the issue again it's all right man it's okay when it comes to one thing but you're yeah. doing another thing no, no no when it comes to the issue of these passages everywhere in the bible not every passage in the bible in its signification should be read at its face value or what we call in the scholarly world prima facie the reason we know this is because the bible sets itself up as a text to be interpreted in different contexts and milieus for example the book of the song of songs of solomon is a passionate account between solomon and a woman that he's seeing we don't interpret that literally there are places, for example, in the parables where we're not supposed to interpret that literally. There are places in the historical record where people use metaphors and similes and Hebraic hyperbole all the time. And we don't dangerous. interpret those texts literally. I you're sitting you're here dangerous. and the only by you forcing me to take an interpretation that none of us have taken for the past 2000 years. You're saying the same about the That's Quran. It. You're saying the same about the Bible. All the religious preachers preach as though they're talking science, as though they're talking knowledgeable and wisdom, and they give an impression, an impression of knowledge. Who are these religious preachers? You, you kind of make they this weird, like, you kind of make this weird, like, enemy of religious preachers. You, they're educated you by you, and you're in, in the process of actually, in a sense, indoctrinating them in a subtle I'm manner. Indoctrina I'm, I'm indoctrinating no one. I'm indoctrinating God, no one. Saying, you can't read it at face value. You've got to know all these things about it, that what it says is not actually what it means means there's hyperbole there's exaggeration it there's sounds this like you're complaining about, about the fact narrative. that people can't just read any random book eyes, and just understand it the way they it want to, give it to children, when you no give way they could read it it shouldn't be given to ordinary people because there's no way they would understand when did it. i say ordinary people bible, i'm an ordinary person bible, any ordinary person can learn how to read the bible, bible it's a learning process that's it they would misunderstand that if they did that no i'm saying that if you are a normal person and you are a christian i don't know what you mean by normal person it's to me by the way because I never claim to be a scholar or anything. This is as a normal person, as a person that identifies as a normal person, if you want to read the Bible, I'm going to tell this to the 3,000 people in chat right now. If you're a normal person and you want to read the Bible, you can learn. My religion is a religion of learning. You can no, learn no, how to grow in not, Christ. That's it's it. Not, it's not really because Absolutely. what you want What's to do. What's my religion? What's what my religion? Do What's do my religion? Just suggest it's a religion of learning, so yes, that you have the power to teach and yes. to indoctrinate. As, say, as Athanasius, as Athanasius said love. before me, it's a religion of love. God came to us as the logos, so that we would not be our logos. That's very true. God doesn't colonize nations. God doesn't give promised lands to people. When did God colonize a nation? Of your children it's a religion of love that's been contaminated by a religious tradition that we've you evolved don't know from. what love you is without my religion that's my thing you around are sounding like a broken ex-girlfriend who doesn't still understand herself outside of the context of her ex-boyfriend you do not understand what love is without my religion and without the thousands to hundreds of thousands to millions of innocent 
poor people that were hegemonized by other people who died for my religion. You don't understand love without those people. The people that died for my religion That's for the so first 300 years of its existence were poor. We, we did might not have, become Christian we might by have known much more about love without your version of religion. Your it's version not of religion, my version of religion. It's people, the religion I and the practice of Christ that was passed down by Christ to his apostles to their students, and that's it. Just wrap them up in a religious bigotry and prejudice that's <laughs> taken away their horizons. Okay, so I'm a bigot. Okay, lives. so I'm a bigot and I'm prejudiced, correct? Well. The Bible is full of big bigotry and you're telling me it's the word of God. No, you're I'm telling you the Bible is not full of bigotry and it's LGBT not full of prejudice. You're lying, you're that's what I'm saying. You'll be telling me next that women should be silent in church. You'll be telling me next we should support unjust regimes, that we should support Okay, so slavery. do you want me to do the, the whole women thing? Yeah, the, the women thing is simply support. about speaking in silence in churches for theological praxis. That has nothing to do with just being silent in general. That's stupid. Oh, but you're telling me they should be women should be silent in church? As well as men, yes. Oh, but it says women should be silent in church and should submit to their husbands. Yes, because the women in the church of Timothy, the women that Timothy were overseeing in Ephesus, these women were business women, part of the Ephesian cult. Those people were taking their money and were exercising authority over the students of the apostles that were already there. Perfect. So he's referring to those women. Okay. What's wrong, now, with what's, wrong, what's wrong with those women uh, speaking? Yeah, and because they're their interrupt because they're taking their money and interrupting church services. They shouldn't do that. Oh, like They're interrupting. It says that. It's, it, it's, yeah, it says, you it? Oh, I do I not permit you. those women to speak into. over speaking those men. Into. They're coming in late again. and they're trying to do random things that we don't believe in. That's it. But, but that's not written. That's not there. That's actually what from... historically is the case. Like historically, oh, that's what Paul was referring to. That's what Timothy was referring to. You don't know what you're talking about. That's okay. The way we want to wriggle to try and find an accommodation. Are, are, are you angry about the fact that I know the responses to these tired arguments you're making? No, because good? you haven't. What you've done is you've actually furrowed away to be able to present a real. I didn't furrow. I just said what historically was the case. That's it. That's it. And you, you sit here as an archbishop and you can't even tell me whether God exists or not. That's crazy. Consolidate your particular approach, which suggests that you can prove, for instance, as we've said, that Mary uh, was impregnated by God. You want to prove that there is a God. You I want to mean, again, I just believe that Mary was able to receive the gametes necessary by another means. You don't need penetration for that. The knowledgeable one. I never said I'm a knowledgeable person. You're claiming that. Not at all. I'm claiming okay, I never said I'm knowledgeable, so don't make a point again. The one thing that matters in life is love. And so much of this Bible and so no, much the of one this thing that matters in the so one much thing of your that matters words in this life is God. Love. That's the one thing that it matters. Justifies yeah. slaughter. It justifies the invasion of nations. No, it doesn't. We it touched on that point. We touched on that other point. It God does not authorize the invasion of innocence. God does not authorize the slaughter of innocence. He only authorizes the just killing of people that are dangerous and infectious to our society. Yeah. Again, and if you want to sit here and say that God shouldn't kill happens. someone for killing babies, then be my guess. But I believe that anyone happens. that boils a baby in a bronze happens. pot and sadistically allows their mother to listen to that boiling, I believe that person should suffer the death penalty. Sorry, it not sorry. So happens. It just so happens, of course, that in the way that you and Christians and men have their God, why is you say men? Well, what people, about women? Do women people, not believe in the same the people, God that I believe in? Blandina, a 12 year old out. woman, died for this. I don't know why you're saying out. this. Tell me when I can finish. Yeah, yeah. so here, yeah, here, here's my thing. You keep making this issue about men. I never quoted just men. Women were the first people to bring the gospel to the disciples. Women were the major martyrs in our church. Women, we have feast days every day of the year that honor vital women that we look to as examples and exemplars of our faith. What you're trying to stop me making, which I've been trying to make for a long time now, is the Which way you're interpreting about, yes, it is that the people who apparently God needed to destroy, the people you think God needs to destroy, and mm -hmm. religious people think need to be destroyed, are always. I don't, I don't know who religious people are, the stop using point. They're always the other people. That you think that your God identifies the bad, wicked people who can, with permission, with divine permission, be slaughtered. It just so happens that everybody from their different sides, from their different religions, think the same thing. Yeah, I, I believe that sadistic rapists should be killed. Crazy. Oh well, then, 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 then actually, you are believing that your own God should be killed. My God didn't sexually penetrate anybody. My God didn't penetrate Mary. My God didn't.
Mary, Mary consented God, God, to every uh, action of America God that happened. And God did not have sex with her. So stop yes, making that point. Be removed and replaced by a God of love. Okay, here's my issue. John, Johnny, Johnny, did, okay, according to my religion, according to my belief, did God have sex with Mary? make you a more loving, humble person, spreading love and peace mm -hmm. and harmony in the world. There you go. Did God have sex with Mary, according to my religion? Sorry? Did God impreg did God physically have sex with Mary in any sense? God impregnated God to Mary according to your religion. Okay, what is the definition of rape? Come on, let's be real. What's rape? A powerful person violating another body, a child. That, okay, that's not what rape is. Rape is when you have intercourse with someone no, without no, no, their no, consent. No. No, that's child, abuse, child abuse is when you take over a, a child's body in order to have a child through them. And yes, you're that's, that's, that that's, 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 this is the part where I get kicked down. But listen. I've yeah, got the wrong, wrong thing. No, scholarship saying this is where you are clearly and you've been exposed to be a okay. deceiver. You, you've been exposed already, saying, but like, could you please show me the scholar that says no? 12, 12 up to 16, 17. And you said 16 because that fits into your narrative. But you're okay, lying. Name one scholar that scholarship says 12, says, please. Could, could you name one scholar that says 12? 12 onwards. Could you name one scholar that says 12, please? Well. I could name lots of scholars, but we're not, one. I'm not playing your game. Name here, one. Of naming scholars. Name one. You said you could name of rape. Name one. A whole thousand people on live can go onto Google. Name and one. Find a whole list yeah, of Google scholars. it. Do your research. Name one, please. Okay. Name one, please. You need to name one. I'm not playing that game. Name one. You just said I'm not playing that a statement. So you're lying. So, so you're lying. So now that, that we've no, addressed the fact that you're lying, you're lying, we can actually look. You don't worry. Hold on, hold on. We can look at the age of Mary right now, and you can actually see that Mary yep. commonly was not to be understood as 12 years old. Now, the tell issue me. that we... Tell, t t just, just, just so sh sh say what, what the uh, common understanding of the range yeah, yeah. of Mary's age so, was. So, Mario so Mariologists will say that Mary was between the ages of 15 to 16 to oh, 18 oh, to 19. Okay, okay let's, let's stick with that. 15, um, okay, well, I'm, I'm willing to give a few years, I don't agree with you, but 15, a child. And you're suggesting I that didn't a child, say 15 to 16. Child, I said either 15 to 16 to 18 to 19. Person, I said between those ages. You as a person are quite comfortable with the God of the universe impregnating a 15 year old child. That to me is morally. Did I say boring. that she was 15 exactly? And no, you're happy I said with that. that I said that the Mariologists range the age of Mary, some say 15 to 16, and then some say 17, 18 to 19. So the medium 15, between those would 15, be 17. 17, 18, 19. The God of the universe taking yeah. over a uh -huh. young woman's body is mm -hmm. morally heinous. But to he you, didn't, quite he didn't just take over her body. What are you talking bigotry. about? She was in her late teens. You see, again, because it's not religious bigotry, you don't it's find not religious bigotry to because it's very easy. Look, Mary not was not taken over it's by God's body in this weird hijack sense. You are trying okay. to sanitize because of your religious approach. Okay, so is, you want, okay, here's is, what you're doing you're trying to push exactly. a very weird narrative, and your narrative is that I don't like these people. As soon as they try to explain exactly what it is they believe, you hate it. Mary herself was not taken over by God. In fact, Mary was, a, according to the narrative, the angel appeared to Mary and said that things are going to happen. Rubbish, Mary then rubbish. gives her consent and rubbish. says, okay, this is no, fine. And a again, child can't give a, a child to, cannot give a, a child cannot give yeah. consent to a power totally beyond themselves. The a, very a child fact, can't give very consent to think, sex. I agree. Hold on, hold on. Let's get this issue very let's get this issue very clear. A child can't consent to sex. Religion. Mary didn't have sex. I don't believe Mary ever had sex. This is my issue. You believe that a child can't have sex. That's fine. I agree with you, but you changed I, it. You said that, that the child I'm can't accept a power of her. That's sense. Sense. To have her body violated by a divine power. And the okay, fact that do you, you not believe that the pro okay, do you not you in any no sense believe hold on hold on hold on hold on? I don't understand why you have this weird sadistic image in your head. 
Okay, you have a sadistic image in your head as to what God did on that day. All we know, and this is very important. We know nothing. We know. we know nothing. No, no. What we do know is according to the historical record was that the gametes necessary to produce a son were miraculously transmitted. It had no, nothing to do with any that. physical contact that's whatsoever. Your, that takes no overpowering. That takes no house, pain. Then, All it I takes was consent. That was it. That was passed down. That's the narrative. In the same way you're Bible, hiding your face. That was true. You're hiding your motivation. You're hiding your lies. You're hiding your corruption. You're hiding your deception. And, and what you're, you're doing is you're preaching to the choir and you don't know how to have a conversation. And you're Why hiding this? because you're lying. And no, show I'm your hiding face. because people show like you feet. hate the fact show that I don't show my face you're and I don't show do emotion. That. Because you're lying. No, I'm not lying. This is you then being show your sadistic. Face. Show your face. I don't. I have a policy about that. I don't ever show my you face. You have a policy to deceive, yes. to lie. No, I have a policy that I don't show my face because what I say is more important than who I am. You can look at all of my content. Not one time do I ever show my face. Why should I show my face? And the result of it is you believe in a murdering God, a no, violating I don't. God, The result of it is that the God, God that I believe in is so God righteous and so beautiful and so loving in that he was able to take a person base. that was willing to be understood as an individual that would take part in a divine economy and that individual profited from that. She no was not violated in any that. sense of the no term. No young person can do that. What you're suggesting is morally, emotionally, you're psychologically... Suge psychologically you're suggesting that Mary did not have the wits about her to be able to God understand that she was going God to be impregnated that miraculously. That That's what you're saying. You are supporting, your religion is supporting an abusive Your religion supports God. enabling people into depression and destruction. My religion and tells them to life, rise on their feet, get up and pick up their cross. Knowledge, hope, fulfillment based on... Knowledge, hope, fulfillment. Now, My, society, the only time you can get knowledge is through the Logos. That's it. The one that has knowledge is God. That's it. By power seekers like you. I don't seek power. I don't care about power. You I don't seek, get anything you, from this. You clearly seek power. I you don't. wanted to come on my I live don't. for so long because yes, you wanted to because come because your mods kick me every single time. Your bogus knowledge, your deceptive sources, mm -hmm. your yeah. present here's, here's the insult. Keep going. Yeah, your you're proving God, it. There you go. Keep going. Yeah, be unhelpful mm -hmm. and destructive. Keep going. Yeah, this is this is proving to the 1.7k people that all you care about specifically is preaching a narrative that is historically unverifiable and as as soon as someone challenges that, you embrace. get scared and crawl back into your shell. And my issue is this. All right, calm down. And here's my issue. The entire live stream, all you've said is, I don't agree with you because you seek power. There is no evidence that I seek power because I don't get power from this impact. I come from a very... I've got nothing to hide. You're hiding. Pardon? I've got nothing to hide. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. hiding. You're okay. Hiding your, so you're, you're hiding, hiding the fact that. You, okay. You're are you true? You're an archbishop. Let's see if you're hiding. Are you an archbishop? Are you an archbishop? Yes. Okay. Who made you an archbishop? I was elected archbishop by the clergy of my church in 2006. Sorry, your church. So the church to which I belong. Okay. Who is the founder of your church? There were three bishops: myself and two other bishops. Okay, so you founded your own church and then the people that in the church that you founded elected you to be the archbishop of the church that you founded? No, not to begin with. There were two other archbishops before me. Okay, and who elected those two archbishops? Let's see. The clergy of the church. Okay, and who in the clergy specifically elected those people? All of the clergy. <laughs> Great. How many people were in the clergy at the time? Very easy. I can't remember. 50 or 60 or something? 50 or 60. How did those people become clergymen? Well, some of them were already clergymen and mm -hmm. joined but, our church. But, but you do understand that according to the canons, according to any canon of any church, whether Anglican, Catholic or Orthodox, if you defect from the church, you lose the validity of being part of the holy orders. You lose that. No, no, you're quite wrong. The holy order, again, you, again, this is your sort of twisted understanding. Holy orders are indelible. Okay, and that's according to which canon? Which canon says that? All the apostolic traditions say so holy me, orders are show indelible. Show me one, show me one. Show you, we're not, 
we're, we're not here yeah, presenting things. Like, 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 show me one. Go on. Show me one. Show, show, you, show you. Show you. Yes. You're show me one. Because when you ask me for evidence, I sat here for an hour and told you. When I'm asking you for evidence, you can't even do that. Come on. Be able to present things up or Google search or anything. So yeah, and I'm looking at it right now. In fact, I can. I can look. It's very simple, right? Because Jonathan Blake, right? You are not an archbishop of any church other than the church that you founded. Okay. You created your own church did sacramentals on TV, and you've been going around on TikTok convincing people that you're some sort of archbishop, which you are not. You haven't looked at my history. Yeah. I was ordained, I was ordained, I was ordained when I was in the chat. Hold on, you were not ever a bishop. You were never a bishop. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, you were never a bishop. You were never a bishop. This is what you did. You were never a bishop. You were a priest in the Church of England for around 12 years. And then you severed your denominational ties with the Anglican Church. You severed your ties. So you lost your sacramental rights. No, you lost right. that. Oh, do some historical research. Yeah, yeah. You're all of the Anglican okay, canons in the 1700s, 1800s, and 1900s. All of them say that one of you once understand. you defect from the church, you are deprived you from office. Totally That's what it says. Please. There's no point in us continuing this conversation because all you want to run away from the conversation because we're pulling up your history. When you made me. your church, what you did is you offered ministry, 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 ministry to people illicitly in 1997. You then wrote a book saying, for God's sake, don't go to church. And the same year, you nailed 95 theses to the door of Canterbury Cathedral. And you were arrested for this. Anybody you were arrested for this. Jesus was arrested and crucified. You then founded your own church. You founded your own church. And by the time the SIM met for the third time, which you founded, Palmer, the person you were working with at the time, required for those that were already ordained who had sing, lost that sacramentology to be reordained by you guys. Anybody, any, listen, Sing, you're not here to do a monologue, so please respect my life. If anybody wants to look at what you're looking at, it's totally available on the internet, on my website. Yeah, they and can I'm actually read reading it. I'm not going to go to your bias website. I'm going to go to the actual they public can read sources. It for themselves. What you don't need to read it for is them. You made it. Your you own archbishops with say, Palmer. It, Palmer and you made your own oh, church. No, you your made your own church. You complained about it. That's it. it. Your power being deceptive, hiding behind your lies, hiding behind your yeah. mask. You're complaining you're that I wear a mask so that people can focus on religion, the words that I say. Which is presented as scientific when it's actually No, both. I presented it as historical. Both. I never said it's scientific. You misrepresent my views. You misrepresent the scholarship. You also misrepresent logic somehow. I don't even know how you do that. But yeah, you did. I'm giving you the last word because I always do. It's time to finish. We've completely overrun. I've gone over my family time. Mm -hmm. You had the biggest platform. Because you were so egotistical, you had to sit here and defend your own theology, which you made up on the spot. Had a terribly good conversation because it's been full of interruptions. But no, this is just you now complaining and projecting onto me, which I take offense to as a black person, or you trying to hegemonize me. Now, here's my issue. You sit you here, you said you wanted me to have the last word, I'm gonna have the last word. So, two. here's the You've thing, so you much. made your own theology up. You then gave sacramentals to people on reality TV. You say that Christ did not die for your sins. You say that God is not all powerful. And you say that my master is racist. The person that I pledge my fealty to, my brother, Christ. You say that individual, my God, is racist as a black person as every black christian in the black community we take offense that you have offended us all now when it comes to you as an individual you as an archbishop can't even know whether god exists or not you have no right to give out sacramentals to a god you do not know for a fact exists you lost your sacramentals when you left the church of the anglicans 12 years after serving them and you left because you had the pride and the goal to say you want to administer sacraments to whoever you want which is blasphemous for me to say you can give blessing but do not disrespect our sacramentology by going on reality tv to do it now my okay. god is one of discipline it's one of justice Listen, it's one of knowledge think, and most importantly because you wanted me to have you, the last I've word it's respect. one of love do of not letting allow you this have individual, love. this false preacher, to come and convince of you, you of something else. Word. And there's no stopping you. You could go on. I was back. about to finish. And Since okay, you've, no, no, because you've affected the entire black yes. Christian community by calling Jesus Christ racist, you have, inf you have offended the black Christian community. That's it. And you've been waiting to drop me for 30 minutes. Your mods have been sitting there hungry to drop me. But here's the, word, the last word I'll say to you. 
my God is willing to take you back in. I see what this is. It's okay. The pride is affecting you now. But my God is willing to take you back in if you're willing to humble yourself. That's it. I'm open. I'm smiling. I'm happy. You've yeah, got and your that smiles mask. Are you're hiding. I never you're smile. Hiding. I never you're go sad. I just keep my face the way as is. That's it. And your mouth. And your false theology. And your my claims false theology. To have you have no way to prove what is true. You said you don't know what is true. You've had your chance. You had your chance. And your smile has been fake from the beginning. And I appreciate you for having the balls to be able to have this live stream. But I will say this to the 3,000 people that are here. He is not a person that is a valid archbishop. He doesn't know whether God exists. But we as Christians know that our God is true and our God loves all of you. No matter who you are, race, gender, identity, sexual orientation, my God loves you. And he's willing to allow you to develop and change for the better in any respect. You said you were, you said you were going to finish. You just go that's on it. and My on final and word on. to you is to find God, find him, and that's it. Well, I hope things go well. And fix your you. big smile, like stop smiling fakely. It's um, really weird. I hope God blesses you. Yeah, I hope and God I hope that God well. actually makes you sincere, genuinely. Like um, your fake smile does not, deceiving anyone honestly it's I, not hope, anything. I hope at some point our paths might uh, unite a bit but it's i think i have the suspicion that you will never want to talk to me again conversation. hey i always that's, go live you are more than welcome to come to my again. streams that's we'll talk again who knows and next time you could take your mask off i will never take my mask off because i have a specific way that i do things online I just know because I've received death threats from like Muslims and from other groups. I receive death threats all the time. So I don't want to no put my family in danger. You've had no death threats from me. Just love. Never said you, but that doesn't mean that only your viewers watch your live. There are people from my community that watch my live too and people that don't like me that watch everything that I do. So I'm not going to put my family at risk just so that I can take off my mask. What's wrong with you? I understand that. All I'd say is... Here's, 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 here's the thing. You made a big point about that. That's a shame. You shouldn't ever critique someone for coming up with a mask on their face or anything like that. that I'm ashamed of you, genuinely. Like, well, genuinely. I'm yeah. you, we've done a lot of talking, we've done a lot of disagreeing. And you, and you haven't shown any evidence for anything. At the, end of the, at the end of the day, we disagree, obviously. But Yes, and I, I, I have uh, presented my case well. I reach out to you in friendship. I have got no issue with you, and ultimately. I reach out to you in humility and submission strong, to my God. Strong, strong arguments, we disagree, but... You didn't provide a strong argument, you just complained like for... We're still human oh. beings walking together on a path, hopefully, where we, although we disagree, we might be together in terms of seeking justice and hope and love and goodness and working on the things that will justice, make the world... Justice, hope, better. love and goodness are only provided by God, that's it. And you know that. Anyway, should we say good night mm. and God bless? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's night for you, I don't, I don't know. I have stuff to do, but yeah, take right. care. Take and God bless, go in peace. God bless you, go in peace too. Bye. Yep.